I guess you could say this is a day for Princess Megan's. And you see, when Megan was little, her brother and sister used to give her a hard time about being a princess. Megan was the one that liked to dance, and she'd have her hair in little sponge curlers, and she'd have the frilly dresses, and would love to just dress up for anything. So Ryan and Kelly really used to give her a hard time. But so one day, Megan was about three, and we were leaving one of Kelly's t-ball games, and Mary Beth says to Megan, when you get big, are you gonna wanna play t-ball like Kelly? And Megan gave her this kind of cockeyed look and she said, run around the bases and get all sweaty? No! So at that point, we knew we had a princess, okay? But as the princess grew and turned into this beautiful, loving and caring woman that she is today, she became very selective on the guys that she would go out with. And so she, when she went to Iowa, we would have these conversations when we'd see different guys at tailgates or something, and I'd say, well, Megan, he seems like a nice guy. And Megan would say, well, yeah, he is a nice guy, Dad, but he's more like a brother than a boyfriend. And I'd say, well, Megan, what about that guy? And I'd get this, oh, Dad, no. And she'd say, I'm really just looking for a guy that's gonna be nice to me. So after she graduated, she moved back home for a while, and then she moved to Des Moines, and then she would be out, and she'd be, you know, we'd talk about, oh, we were out on the town last night, oh, who was all out? And she'd rattle off some names. And I'd say, oh, is he a nice guy? Oh, Dad, please, no. She goes, Dad, I just want someone that's gonna be nice to me. So, a little while later, she comes home, and her and Mary Beth are out playing, let's see how fast we can drain the checkbook and watch the, <laughs> see, see if we can get the vein on Dad's head to pop out. And um, so she comes home, and she's gotta hurry up, pack the car, and get back to Des Moines, because she's got like a month's worth of groceries. And um, she gets in the car, and she takes off, and she says, uh, she, we wake up, Mary Beth comes in and Megan's car couldn't have been two blocks away. Mary Beth's all excited. She says, well, she says, I, you're, you're not supposed to know this, but Megan is kind of talking to Bo Krause. And I said, what does kind of talking mean? And, and who is Bo? And she said, well, kind of talking means that they're just starting to go out. And I said, well, okay, that's good. And I says, who's Bo? And she goes, well, you know, the Krauses, the kids went to Lourdes for a while and they went to Bettendorf and you'd see Kevin and Mary in the, in the family at, at church. And I thought, oh, okay, well, you know, it's a nice family, but how long is it gonna be before I get up? Oh, dad, please. <laughs> so a couple days later, Megan calls home and she says, well, dad, what do you think? Remember, I'm not supposed to know anything about this. So. <laughs> I says, about what, honey? And she says, about Bo. Well, dad, his real name's William and he's a finance major just like you were. And he, you know he's Catholic and he likes bourbon. And <laughs> so she had a pause to catch her breath and I said, is he an employed finance major? <laughs> and, and she says, oh, dad, he's, he's got a good job and he's really smart. And I said, and then she, she kind of paused and she goes, and dad, he is so nice to me. He's the nicest guy ever. And I'm thinking, whoa, we finally got somebody. <laughs> so. Anyway, I said, well, I'm gonna to have to meet this Bo. And she says, yes, you and mom are gonna come up to Des Moines next week and have dinner with us. Well, that was quick. I guess her and Mary Beth already had that one figured out, so. <laughs> so anyway, we come up and, and we go out to dinner and we go to meet Bo. What's the first thing you notice about Bo? What a head of hair. 
I mean, the guy's got the perfect head of hair, and I'm going, I don't know if I like this guy. Well, as, as we had dinner, I could see that Bo was a real nice guy. And, and as we, I could see that really he was just as crazy about Megan as Megan was about him. And on top of that, Bo was a real gentleman. I mean, he would hold the doors for us. He would let us all go first. I said it was so refreshing. So not only did we have a nice guy, but we had a real gentleman. So Kevin and Mary, thank you for not only raising the nicest guy ever for Megan, but a real gentleman. I couldn't think of anything good enough to honor my sister and the type of person she is. But then I had a moment and I thought about the way Bo looks at Megan and I know by the way he looks at her that he knows that she's the type of person that deserves to be cherished. Megan is thoughtful and kind. She will let you be yourself and she will love you unconditionally. Megan will listen to you. Even when you call her from Thailand after midnight, because <laughs> there's a 13 hour time difference, but you're getting chased by a gang of monkeys. <laughs> Megan will support and encourage you always. Megan is my little sister, but I've always looked up to her. And Bo, Megan did good. She did really good. <laughs> You are one of the sincerest people that I've ever met. I love how motivated and ambitious you are. You are generous and humble. You make my sister laugh. You guys have fun together. You eat donuts together. <laughs> you are patient and kind with Megan. You make her so happy. You two are such a beautiful couple that truly bring out the best in each other. I wish you the happiest life together. So let's raise our glasses and let Megan and Bo feel all the love and support in this room as they start their life together. I love you both so much. Congratulations. To give you some background, my sister Carolyn was actually a sorority sister of Morgan and AJ's at Iowa. As older sisters do, they were determined to set up their younger brothers to be best friends forever. Right, Morgan? <laughs> I remember my sister calling me and saying, I had to meet this Bill Krause guy. He's also a freshman at IU, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> so later that week, we're at a fraternity rush event, and someone introduced me to a guy named Bo. From there, the conversation went something like this. Oh, are you the Bo from Iowa? Apparently, I'm supposed to meet you. <laughs> yeah, my sister told me to meet you, too. Cool, now we've met. See you later. <laughs> well, spoiler alert. Bo couldn't get rid of me. So shout out to the Iowa Thetas for playing matchmaker. Truth is waking up in 